Lou from Lights and Gear. It's time for another flashlight review, and I have rather an anticipated light to talk about today. Now, in some time, if you're watching this video later on, perhaps you may have heard of, heard of it already, but uh, at this particular point, at time of this recording, it has been a rather anticipated release. This is the new one from Olight. The M2R Warrior is their latest and um, it has been talked about for a while and um, there was supposed to be an, N, an M1R back, back several months ago which never materialized but now we have the M2R so that's what's out today and it's a pretty um, it's a very substantial little light so we'll get to some of the details here uh, first of all its LED is the XHP35 and its throw is 208 meters perhaps a little less than some lights, but it does have an orange peel reflector, which does keep the throw down, but also, you know, it broadens out the beam a little, and it, it is a very nice uh, beam of light, I'll say that. Um, total runtime can be 25 days if, uh, of course, uh, being used on the lowest mode. Now, it comes in two different LED tints, a cool white and a neutral white. As you can see here, I've chosen the neutral white, and it, it, it's just a very nice tint. It also includes a battery, so you get the Olight uh, 3500 mAh lithium-ion battery, 18650, that comes with it, and it's also USB rechargeable. So we'll get to all this in a few moments. Top lumen output is 1500, and it does say within the manual that the 1500 is, well, the 1500 will work with the battery they give you. If you use another type of 18650, which has a lower discharge rate, you won't get 1500 lumens, you'll get 1000 lumens. And it does explain that a little bit here on the back within the specifications. Um, as for the modes, as you see here, you get moonlight, low, two sets of medium, high, and turbo. Now, I'm not sure why they have medium two before medium one. Um, that's sort of a little baffling. Uh, I would think it would be the other way around, of course, since medium 2 is lower than medium 1. However, um, anyway, um, it is impact resistant to almost 5 feet, and it's IPX8 waterproof, so it is submersible, and there are your dimensions of the light. So it has, um, of course, a lot of nice features, as well as being USB rechargeable, and... Um, um, it has the um, what has become typical for Olight as far as the uh, recharging uh, portion of it, whereas it has the it has the magnetic base, the magnetic cap that goes over the um, the tail cap to uh, take care of the charging portion. So I'll show you that here in a matter of moments. But anyway, so the next the other thing that I like about this is that they've made the packaging a little easier. Olight does make very extensive packaging, I'll say that. And in previous lights, I've had a little bit of difficulty opening them up. I think I, think I know how to open most packages, but there was something about the way that they were all put together in some of the previous lights that they were very difficult to uh, remove without tearing some of the box and so forth. Now in this case they've made it a lot easier. Now you can see how easy I got this whole section out here just by pulling the top. Now here they give you a bit of um, a bit of advice on how to change a portion of the portion of the mode because it is a tactical light and it has a switch on the bottom and a switch on the head. And there's a way in which you can um, change it from a standard tactical mode to an enhanced tactical mode. An enhanced tactical will give you momentary strobe, which is something you don't often see. Um, so with the way that the switch on the bottom works in a tactical fashion, you can have either a momentary turbo or you can have momentary strobe. So they do it. They just explain here the two various ways that you can change from one to the other and keep it keep it at that if that's what you want. So 
take off this um, liner portion. And by the way, if the explanation I just gave you doesn't make too much sense, you can check my written review at lightsandgear.com where obviously I spell it out. So here's the flashlight. It's about 5 inches long. It is bigger than some of their more recent lights. A little bit longer, a tad thicker, but it is a very nice, very high quality flashlight. On the bottom here, it gives you a little, a little bit of a, um, a visual as to that, as to those button presses I was talking about a moment ago with the momentary and the strobe. It doesn't really, I mean, looking at this diagram, it doesn't really tell you a whole lot what you're supposed to do. But here's the tail cap switch, which works in a tactical fashion. And here's your side switch. There's your name. Here's Olight. Here's your M2R Warrior. Here's your LED, which is the um, XHP35. And your um, orange peel reflector here. The crenellations, it has these crenellations across the top of the bezel. Very interesting. I guess that could be uh, used in sort of a self-defense fashion. I mean, they're not sharp. They're just... Um, they're, they're a little rough, so but it's rather attractive anyway, if, if for nothing else. This pocket clip is very nice. I was uh, carrying it today, EDC style, and uh, I found it was very easy to go over the pocket and clip it on with the way this is um, set here. It's very nice. So that's pretty good. Um, just a moment here. And... Um, other than that, it, it's pretty stylux. It's pretty stylish, <laughs> and uh, this is not too bad here. The knurling, it has a pretty good grip along the barrel. Now, as I said, the battery comes with the light, and it's already inside the light when you get it. And here is their battery. 18650, 3.6 volts, 3500 mAh. And it says here it's HDC, high discharge current. This is 10 amps. And they say within the instructions that the highest mode, or the turbo mode, is pretty much only available if you use a high discharge battery. And they say that if your battery is lower than, um, than 6, lower than 6 amps, you probably will not get um, 1500 lumens out of it. You'll get a thousand instead of 1500. Now of course the battery goes in this way. The battery always goes in positive side down on these Olight lights due to the uh, charging aspect of it. And the tail cap here is magnetized so this will stick to anything metal. Let me just for a second show you those um, I had the instruction manual. Oh, that's right. We didn't get to the other portions of the package, did we? Take this part out. And you have the lanyard. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have the belt holster. So, here's the holster. And this is different than most. There's no Velcro on here. Instead, it has a release button. So, press the button and um, release it. And there you go. So this is uh, different from the usual Velcro. And inside are the other accessories. So here is the charging base. This is wrapped up differently when it's new. I've already been testing it out. So uh, here's the charging base. And of course, um, this will go on any USB adapter or power source. And here's your magnetic. Um, which of course goes on the bottom of the flashlight just like that. Attaches to the bottom and as soon as you've uh, attached it the light here will be red. It'll be green before you put it on. As long as it's plugged in this will be green at the end and there are pictures of this on my written review. This will be green and then you attach it of course and this turns red and then when the battery is finished charging that turns green again. So that's how you work the charging part of it and the battery I already put back in there and let me see what was the other thing inside here there's another piece of accessory inside this will be your lanyard 
So here's your adjustable lanyard. All right, so that's all for the accessories, nothing else in there. And here is the manual. So as you can see, there are nice pieces to this, um, to this box, which all uh, fit back in. So here's the manual, and again, here are the specifications. And there's your moonlight and your low, and your two mediums, 700 and 1,000. Now, turbo will only stay on for three minutes, and then it will kick down to the high mode. So, turbo at 1500 or turbo at 1000, depending on whether you're using a high discharge battery. And obviously, if you use the battery they give you, then you are using a high discharge battery, so you will get 1500 lumens and then 1000 um, if it's not, and then 700 after three minutes. And of course, here are your beam distances and 208 meters being the highest there. So within the manual it does tell you of course how to operate it. There is an instant, you can have instant access to moonlight, you can have instant access to turbo, and you can have instant access to strobe. There's also a lockout feature, and that pretty much covers that portion. All these uh, elements are explained in my written review. But let's um, give it a quick try here. The nice thing about it, and one of the nice things about it, uh, to turn it on and off there is no holding press. All you do is press it once and then again. Obviously there's mode memory, so if you just want it to be on one particular mode or if you're just using it briefly you can turn it on, see what you're doing, and then turn it off. Simple as that. If you want to change modes, then once you've turned it on, press and hold. And then, of course, it will start cycling through all the modes. And uh, let me see. Or let me turn this light out. And let's go back to the beginning. For moonlight mode, you press and hold the, the press and hold the switch, and then you get instant moonlight. And obviously, that's great for seeing right up front, right up close as close as you can be in complete darkness you'll get excellent lighting on moonlight Let's make sure I'm zoomed out there we go so very good light on moonlight if I just press it once from there I'll turn it off but turning it back on again since mode memory uh, is uh, kicked in of course it will remember moonlight again now if I press and hold I'm now in low So this is low mode, and I think you can see the uh, the color of this LED. Can you can you see that the tint? It's a very it's a very um, subtle creamish color, not cool white and not warm white, but it's neutral. So it's it has that it has that middle ground. So right now we're on low. Press and hold. There's the first medium. Press and hold. There's the second medium. Press and hold. There's high. So now we're in high mode. And if I click it twice from here, it'll bump up to turbo. And I didn't see that much of a jump, but there is a there is a jump depending on the lighting situation you're in. And then if I pressed it once from there, it just turns completely off. Now if I wanted to get to strobe from the off position, I click it three times, one, two, three, and I'm in strobe and then one press will turn it off again. I can get to high from the off position by double clicking twice or double clicking, yeah double clicking twice takes you to instant high and then if I double click again that will kick up to the turbo mode and then one press will turn it right off again. Now as far as that rear switch is concerned it's tactical so if you give it just a light press like that, it will get you instant turbo. So here's instant turbo from the rear switch just by giving it a light press. If I want to hold that and stay on turbo, then 
I give it a firm press. A light press gives you momentary light and a firm press will lock it in. So now I'm locked on the turbo mode by giving it that firm press. And you see the other thing that it would do with that um, with that change that it, that it explains how you do that sort of that choice that you can make um, on that choice you can set this um, constant on to strobe so you can get to strobe a couple of different ways if you want to obviously you can get to it by the um, by the triple click from it being off or you can set it so when you firm you can set it so when you do a firm press on the rear switch instead of being on turbo it will be on strobe at this point otherwise so as i say if that doesn't make too much sense you can read about it in my in my written review but that that's pretty much the choice you can make there now if i just give that one press it turns off but the momentary press will always give me turbo even if it's set to the other setting even if it's on the other setting the momentary switch will still give me turbo so if that makes sense um, so that's the the basics of how you operate the light now if I turned it on via the uh, side switch and moved about the modes a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three clicks. Three clicks activate strobe from already being on in any other mode. So we're on the uh, first medium right now. And again, three clicks will get you to strobe either while it's on or from the off position. And if you wanted to lock it out so that there's no accidental activation in your pocket, you can do that too. And that works by simply holding the switch for a couple of seconds, waiting until moonlight comes on and then shuts off. And then it will be automatically locked out and it will not turn on. Every time you press the button after that to attempt to turn it on, you'll get a little red indicator here in the, um, in the switch to uh, tell you that it's locked out and then you got to press and hold it again to unlock it. Now I haven't seen anything anywhere about there being a low battery indicator. That's something that they often do or put within the uh, within the, the switch. Um, but I have not noticed that and there's nothing in the manual about that either. If I find anything out about that I'll put it below in the comments. So that's basically the operation of the light I think it's a very cool light. It has, certainly has a nice beam and it has a good um, user interface. The switch does not light up when you turn it on. And that was the other part I was mentioning a moment ago about a, a battery indicator. So when you turn it on, it's not going to tell you the status of the, uh, of the battery charge. So Finding the switch in the dark takes a couple of moments, but it's not too bad. Um, as with a lot of other lights, if you remember where the clip is, if you remember what side of the light the clip is on, you can probably probably find it okay, or just feel around a bit. And it's the only, obviously, it's the only part of the light that has sort of a rubbery feel um, around the head portion. So I have really had no problem finding the switch. In pitch dark but I think the uh, M2R is a very good indicator of um, what's to come from Olight and if they ever do release the M1R then uh, that'll be a, a nice light in itself just just smaller but there's a link below if you want to pick one of these up from the Olight store on eBay and you can pick one up from them there and there's also a couple of other links in my written review, so you can check those out. Olight did supply the light to me for uh, test and review, so I thank them for that. 
and I thank you for watching the video today for the Olight M2R Warrior. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you check out lightsandgear.com. I obviously have my outdoor pictures on my website, on my written review. The outdoor pics of this flashlight are pretty impressive, so you might want to check those out. The, the, the link below is, uh, is good for that. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with another review. So until then, take it easy.